When I want to chill out and clear my mind, I find listening to the sounds of the ocean to be very relaxing. Oh, come on, boat, move! A jet ski? OK, so maybe the ocean isn't as tranquil as I first thought. And it's not just here from the shore, but in the deep blue too. In the past century, humans have started making a real racket. There are ships and recreational boats, underwater vessels and machines that go ping. We bounce sounds around to look for ships and map the ocean floor. And there's mining, drilling and even explosions. A new study has found that all of these sounds are having a big impact on ocean animals. To find out more, I decided to go straight to an expert. Flipper! 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 After realising Flipper probably couldn't hear me because of noise pollution, I decided to contact the next best thing. Hi, Christine. Hello, Jack. Christine Erbe is the director of the Centre for Marine Science and Technology at Curtin University in Perth and knows a thing or two about noise pollution in the ocean. In fact, she helped with the study. So tell me, noise pollution, why is it such a problem? Humans are so visually based, and the same with um, mammals on land. But underwater, animals have learned to use sound instead, so they listen. You see, sound travels faster and further in water than in air. And it's really important to marine life. Whether it's fish singing love songs to attract a mate, shrimp that use sound to stun their prey, or those who just want to catch up on all the underwater goss. Plus, it can get pretty dark down there. So some mammals use sound to see. Well, kinda. It's called sonar or echolocation. In the same way our eyes interpret light waves to build up a picture, dolphins and whales send out sounds and interpret the way they bounce back to understand the world around them. But all that human-made noise pollution is getting in the way. Basically, marine creatures can't hear themselves think, let alone find a feed, a date, or steer clear of the dinner plate. So if you have some whales, let's say a male whale singing in order to attract females, and it might try to reach females over hundreds of meters or kilometers or much further, but now if you put a busy shipping lane sort of nearby, then you're going to interfere with that communication. You sort of mask the uh, song of the whale, and so the females will not be able to hear it. So, what can we do? Well, I tried yelling at everyone to stop. Oi, stop making all that noise! But I think that just added to the problem. Christine reckons we're better off looking at quieter solutions. So there are certainly um, efforts to find solutions to make ships quieter. With other matters, for, for example, for ex exploration or for offshore um, minerals mining or offshore oil and gas or so, there are also alternative te technologies which are being developed to um, make these processes quieter. <laughs> So hopefully we'll find a way to keep it quiet for these guys and I can get back to zenning out to this. And not this. Uh...